Andy says, is it normal for postpartum depression to last longer than a year with medication and counseling? I definitely agree with you. You should definitely see your doctor about it again. Um, you know, typically symptoms are resolved within a month or two of being on medication. And if it's been a year and you've been on meds that whole time, uh, you know, maybe think about changing up medications. Uh, how long does postpartum depression last? If untreated, really, it could go on, you know, indefinitely. If you're depressed and you're trying to wait it out. My advice is don't try to wait it out. You know, be seen, uh, get an evaluation, consider treatment if you haven't already. Um, because a lot of times it just it's just going to linger, and, and I don't recommend you know, let anybody be out there suffering and feeling bad, feeling like that. Could you get postpartum depression at once? Yeah. Um, so it is a higher risk, and I typically would recommend to somebody that if you have a history of postpartum depression, to do one of two things. If you're not currently on medication, either start it at delivery, so like the next day before you go home, start your meds up, or or uh, even starting it like, you know, two or three weeks before delivery uh, so that the levels are kind of kicking in even before you have the baby. And um, if you have questions about the safety of SSRIs in pregnancy, guess what I made? I made a YouTube about it. How do you know if you have postpartum depression, not just normal blues? It's a good question. Function. So baby blues does not impair function. So you get out of bed. You take care of the baby. You're, you know, excited about the situation that you're in now that you have this baby and you're taking care of the baby. Um, you still have interests in things that you like doing, and if you had a chance to do them, you would do them, including sleep. So some people's sleep is affected. Um, so function is really the key. If it's affecting function, then it's much more likely to be depression and not just the blues. So that's the one I would look at, and probably also duration. I mean, most people are bluesy for a week or two, and that's it. And so if it's going beyond a couple of weeks, then you start thinking more likely this is uh, much more likely to be depression. Uh, Heather, can you have postpartum depression a year after baby? Yep, you sure can. And it may have just been kind of low level there the whole time. You didn't realize it. Um, so my advice is uh, talk to somebody, get checked out.